Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to Face Islam, the program dealing with the problems and issues facing Muslims every day. In today's episode, I want to talk about Basmala. When I started the program, I said Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. What is the Basmala? What does it mean? And is this really something that important in today's world? As a matter of fact, what we know in Islam is that this could be one of the biggest problems facing us, that we forget to use this term. But let us begin by understanding what the term is, what it comes from, what it implies, and then we'll talk about how we use it to make a difference. First and foremost, this is a word, a compound word in the Arabic language. It means in the name of or with the name of. Technically, if you say in the name, you'd say fismillah. But this bismillah, it means to be representing something in the name of something else. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this case, the beginning of almost every chapter of the Quran. In fact, out of 114 chapters in the Quran, 113 of them begin with bismillah. In the name of. In the name of who? Then it continues, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Now, in other programs, we've talked about Rahma and Rahman and Rahim, and we've understood that these are characteristics of the all-merciful, the especially merciful, which is Almighty God in Arabic, Allah. So we're saying basically in the name of Allah, Bismi, Allah. You hear it? In the name of Bismi. In the name of Allah, Bismillah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. All of this coming down to mean the <laughs> Bismillah. Welcome to Face Islam, a program dealing with the problems and issues facing Muslims everywhere, every day. In this episode, I want to talk about a word, Bismillah. The Basmala, which is what this is all about, is the way to say in Arabic what we say in English in the name of God. And literally, if you said Bismi, you would be saying with the name of God, but it wouldn't be understood the same in English, so we're taking a little bit of license there and we're saying, in the name of God, like someone would say in the name of the king or in the name of the president or anything else. So we understand that Bismi, Allah, means with or in the name of Almighty God. And this is the way that 113 of the 114 chapters of the Quran begin. There's only one surah or chapter of the Quran that begins without any Basmala or Bismillah. And that Surah Tawbah, number nine, and some of the scholars of Islam said it's because Allah is showing you a warning here that even though you take for granted Allah is so gracious and so merciful and so benevolent, ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, at the same time realize that without repentance, because that's the name of the Surah, at tawbah without repentance, then there's not going to be much mercy, is there? So anyway... And by the way, just to let you know, in the Quran we find another example of Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim when Suleiman writes a letter to Bilqis. Hmm? So anyway, we have it 114 times with 114 chapters. The point of this uh, episode really is not talking about just the Basmala in the Quran. It's the Basmala in our lives every day. We understand from Islam that it's important for us to do whatever we do in the name of Allah. And if you say, well, there's some things I just wouldn't do with the name of Allah, then you shouldn't be doing it anyway. For instance, if somebody's going to rob a bank, they wouldn't say, well, Bismillah, let's go rob a bank. <laughs> it doesn't work. Bismillah, let's go steal something. No, you wouldn't say that. 
And in the same way, you wouldn't do anything evil if you really thought about it before you began. And this is where a lot of the Muslims are having a problem these days. We forget to say Bismillah. And if we considered, if I say in the name of Allah, I shouldn't do this or that. I sure shouldn't lie. I shouldn't cheat. I shouldn't steal. And I should never oppress anybody because this is not Islam. Mm. We get the idea right away. Another point about the Basmala. Did you know what the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us about the influence of the devil? The devil and his cohorts. Those who, you don't see them, but they're coming at you like bad thoughts, evil thoughts, wiswas, whispering into your mind and your heart. And if you say Bismillah, you can prevent a lot of problems from these guys. Because the remembering of Allah, when you enter upon your house, you open the door, you enter, and you say, Bismillah, when you walk in the door. As soon as you enter and you say, Bismillah, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us that one of the devils says to the other devil, well, we can't stay here tonight. He said, Bismillah, we can't stay here tonight. Then when you sit down to eat, you, before you put the food in your mouth, you say, Bismillah. So the devil says to his companion, oh, we can't eat here. Because he said bismillah. When you say bismillah, the devil doesn't eat with you. Then he says to his friend, look, we can't eat here. We can't sleep here. Let's go somewhere else. So you see the advantage right away of being able to remember to say this. Now, what about when you get in the car? You want to go somewhere? Say bismillah. What about when you enter a building? Especially you're going to go into a store or a market. Bismillah. And what about when you wake up in the morning? You start to put your clothes on, get ready, going to wash up. Bismillah, bismillah, bismillah. The more you remember the basmala in your life, you'll be surprised how much better your life is. One, because it's adhkar of Allah. This is the remembering of Allah and what you're doing. The very essential ingredient to begin anything that you do. Begin it. Start with the name of Almighty Allah. When you're thinking about your God, your creator, your sustainer, and putting that first, then a lot of things will be a lot easier for you. Of course we always say it when we pick up the Quran. You're not going to read the Quran without Basmala, are you? No, that's why the stories start like that. Say Bismillah when you pick up the Quran. Say Bismillah when you're going to do Salah. Before we get into Salah, we have Basmala. But it's not just in worship. It's in everything we do every day. Putting on your clothes, making wudu. Putting on the clothes is a normal thing. Say bismillah. Wudu is worship. Say bismillah. Food, huh, food is very normal. Say bismillah before you eat. The prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, he told us for the one who doesn't say bismillah, that the devil is eating with him bite by bite by bite. Drinking right along with him, drink by drink. And speaking of drinking, Suppose somebody said, well, I'm going to have some alcohol. They're going to drink alcohol. So before he drinks it, he says, Bismillah. You look at that and say, wait a minute. How can I say Bismillah? And I'm going to break one of the commandments. I shouldn't drink alcohol. How can I say Bismillah? And I'm sure not going to put something inside of me. I didn't say Bismillah. See how the memory works? It helps you to avoid the bad things. The same for smoking cigarettes, taking drugs, hurting people, taking advantage of people, anything. When you do a business deal, here's another chance. Talk about Basmala. When you write everything down, and in business, Muslims are taught to do that, write it down. Put it all down. Then you both sign it, date it, and that's a legal contract. But at the top of it, Basmallah Rahman Rahim. Put the Basmala. Put it up there. And then you'll look at that and you'll remember. You know what? I better be really honest. And that's for both of you. You'll be surprised at how many things we forget to say bismillah, and then it messes us up during the day if we would just remember that simple little thing. Whether we're traveling on a long journey or just around the corner. Whether you're putting on just your normal robe that you wear or something really fancy. And whether you're going to eat a big feast or just going to have a little drink of water. Before you begin, begin with bismillah. That's Islam. And this is Face Islam. Uh,